Hey everyone, today we're going to go over the beautiful gospel song called His Hand and Mine. Uh, this is on page 13 of gospel book number 3. And this song was written back in 1954 and has been recorded by many artists. Uh, but I like Elvis's version, so let's get started. You may ask me how to the second fret and play this in the key of B. But I play the chord for the key of A. However, if B is not your key to sing it in, try using a capo to find a close key that allows you to sing it how your vocal arrange allows it. The time signature is 4-4 four, four, and the tempo is a slow 70 to 74 around there. Uh, the strum pattern varies depending on your expression, but I feel on this it's a down, down, up, down, down, up type thing, like a 1, 2, and 3, 4, and type of strum pattern making sure to try to hit those leading bass notes like this. Like that, okay? Kind of like a cowboy kind type uh, country type song. Okay, let's talk about the intro, the breaks, and the ending. The song uses the last two lines of the verse, A7, A7, D, and D. Basically just for the intro. During the breaks between the chorus um, and the verses, you can kind of pause the music and then come in with the vocals for the first four notes, like this. La, da, da, da. It's kind of got that kind of a feel. And at the, at the end of that A7th and D, you can or you don't have to, but it's optional, you can hit that D7. I will never walk alone. This helps you get to that G a little better. It might help you get that, um, the note. It'll lead you there a little bit more intuitively. He holds my hand. He will guide each step I take. If I fall, I know. 
understand cause Till the day he tells me why He loves me so Kind of like that feel, okay? And then at the very end um, of the song, they also do uh, I Can Feel His Hand in Mine and That's Enough for Me. Um, and you can do uh, that a couple of times. You can do that again. I can feel his hand in mine and that's enough for me. And again, you can go up to that octave there. That's how Elvis' background singers do it. As far as performance flair, just keep the rhythm and the tempo steady and concentrate on nailing those vocals. There is a harmony part you can add, which is basically the third above the melody, which is, a fun, uh, which is fun as a duo, but it, it's also the song sounds good as a solo as well, so uh, that's an optional. Hey, thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this was helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed his hand in mind, and, and don't forget to get book number three with all the chords and lyrics for your iPad or your phone, and we'll see you next Sunday.